there, it's uh, Hayley Wilson from Powering Social Media. Just wanted to show you quickly today how to set up a new email address for your new domain name. Um, so all you need to do is just log into your host monster account or whoever your host provider is and uh, log in, well it should log straight into the cPanel anyway. If not, um, make sure you are on your cPanel and then scroll down, about halfway down you'll see a box that, say, that says mail on it. So all you need to do is just click on where it's got email accounts here with the big uh, envelope there. So if you just want to click on email accounts and we'll just wait till that opens up. And okay simple as this so I'm just going to come over here and find the URL that I want and obviously we've got a few of them here haven't we um, so I found uh, pairingsocialmedia.com and today for today's purpose I'm going to set up the um, email address support at pairingsocialmedia.com so you will I mean you can have like admin at or info at or your name um, like Haley at Pairing Social Media you can do whatever you like really you can create as many as you like as well um, so once you've got your name so we've got support at PowerSocialMedia.com and it's got the green tick so that's all good and then password so I'm just going to create a password here and make sure it's a fairly strong one okay and so that's looking good that's nice and strong and just click the unlimited for the mail mailbox quota and it's literally as simple as clicking create account and it's done so down here now we will have a few here so I'll go to page two and we should see uh, support at powerringsocialmedia.com um, so now all we need to do is to set up your uh, mailbox on your say if you've got Windows Live Mail or Outlook Express or something like that you need to go over and click on more and you'll see web uh, access webmail which we don't want to do we want to configure email client so we click on that and then we want to uh, use this information over in your email address or over in your Windows Live Mail or Outlook Express so for this purpose uh, what we'll do is uh, okay so we have Windows Live Mail so I'm just going to bring it up so this is Windows Live Mail here um, some people have Outlook Express and you might find um, what you're looking for under your accounts or uh, file you have you just have to sort of find um, where your email accounts are within Outlook Express but uh, for this purpose of this video we are going to be using Windows Live Mail. Windows Live Mail is free too it's a great little um, uh, great little uh, mailbox um, tool too so uh, we're just going to go back to uh, our host monster account and we're going to look at all these details here so the one that we're really looking for today is the um, pop so you'll see uh, so we've got two pops we want the pop um, 110 and we want the port um, 26 so they're the details that we really want there so um, I'm just going to copy is there really this one here that I want just going to copy that there so that's mail.poweringsocialmedia.com um, and I'm going to show you uh, where exactly we put that so um, so that's that's kind of what you're looking for so it'll be you'll be you also won't have like support dot um, pairing social media you, you actually want the the mail dot your domain name so as is mail dot pairing social media dot com that's the that's the info that we want here okay so what we do is we come over to our email account here so we're at Windows Live Mail up the top here we click on the blue button which is a drop down button we go down to options and then up into email accounts and we can see here we've already got one so we just want to add a new one so it's going to add email account go next okay so uh, email address here we know we've just created is uh, support at pairing social media dot com okay that's all goody okay password so the password that I created over on our Post uh, monster account as well. Make sure we put that in. Display name. I'm just going to go uh, support PSM. Okay, 
Um, don't need to worry about that. Manually configure server settings. Actually, we might click on that. Click on that. Manually configure server settings, and let's go next. Okay. So over here, we definitely want this on pop. So you've got the pop here. Um, it drops down. You'll see IMAP and uh, Windows Live Hotmail. We don't want that. We definitely want the pop. Um, okay. As you uh, heard me say before about the mail dot powering social media, this is where uh, you put that. So it's where um, mail dot uh, powering social media. Okay, so that is incoming. So we're looking at the incoming server information here too, by the way. So this is uh, mail.powering.socialmedia.com. So this will this will pick it up off the server uh, off our host monster account. Um, port 110. Don't worry about touching that. Don't worry about touching a uh, required secure connection in SSL either. Clear text is fine. Now over here on the um, uh, server address which is outgoing mail this is where you type in your uh, internet service provider address so for us it's mail dot internode dot on dot net now um, you might have mail dot big dot com or something like that it's your internet provider so it's mail dot whatever your internet service provider uh, whoever they are so for us, it's mail.internode.on.net, and the port's 25, so just leave it how it is, and don't worry about ticking these, and then just click next. And um, there we go, so the email account was added um, successfully, so we've got that, and we'll just click finish. Um, now, you'll see here, we've got um, our brand new email address, so it's literally as simple as that. Now... Just before we go though, we just want to make sure that this thing actually works. So we're going to do a test. So I'm just going to do a test to obviously, uh, well myself. <laughs> um, so we're going to go support at powering social media. Com. Okay, and I'm just going to get test. Same down here. Test. Test, and then we're just going to go send. Hit the send button. And I'll just refresh. Now, our email address should pop up down here. It'll be the second one. Here it is here. So there is our new email address. I'm just going to click refresh again just to make sure this is going to work. If it doesn't, then we need to go back in and just uh, check it. Okay. So it's not letting me not letting me um, do it yet because it's popping up here with the uh, um, wanting a, a username and password. So there's one little step that's probably missing. So I'm just going to go in and check that. So we're just going to go cancel that. Don't worry about that. And back up here, down to options, up to email accounts. Click on the powering social media or your new email account. We're going to go properties to have a look at it. So this page here. That is all fine. Just want to have a look at the servers. Okay, the one thing that needs to be changed on this page is see email username. Now that should be the full support at powering social media.com. Okay, so it needs to be the that email user needs to be the full email address. Okay, everything else on this page is right. So incoming mail is mail.powering.socialmedia.com. Outgoing is mail.internode.on.net. Perfect. Uh, I'm just going to click apply, and while we're in here, we'll just quickly check the security. That's all good. That's how that should be. Advanced. That should be fine. How that is as well with the settings there. So we've got two ticks down here and. Uh, 25 and 110 so that looks all good so we're just going to go OK go close I'm just going to refresh again because we've got that email sitting out there in cyberspace and now fingers crossed it should work and there it is so I've got a few tests there obviously I've been playing around so um, it works so now we've got a brand new email address set up in our Windows Live Mail so fantastic it's literally that easy so that's it for this video and uh, we'll see you on the next one soon thank you bye